everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to do a flat brush design using a number 14 and a number 12 a magic flat brush I'm going to use a number 8 Deerfoot stippler a fine liner by Westonia and a number 8 round brush by uh, magic all these are linked down below so that you can uh, purchase through the affiliate links if you want to do so. I'm using all folk art paints. I'm using Thicket, Lime Green, Moon Yellow, Wicker White, Magenta, and Tea Berry. Now I do mix or actually use, I should say not really mix them, but I use a mixture of enamels and multi-surface together. And that's primarily to get the colors that I want to use. All right, so I'm gonna begin with the number 14 brush. I'm going to dip one side into the wicker white, and then the other side, I'm gonna just do two touches, one into the magenta, one into the tea berry, and do a blending stroke. As I create, I can keep dipping into these, doing maybe a slight uh, blending stroke, or just doing this and continuing on. However, I see fit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just do some quick little, quick little buds here. and then come up here or I can go down like that you can do it either way up or down and then I'm going to do just a partially open it's actually more closed than open bud right here and as you come down, like a lot of times when you're doing the wiggle strokes, you can actually pull some of the paint up off the glass, so just be careful with that. That's pretty easy to do. All right, so then let's just go here. I'm gonna be creating a double layer flower. And let me just do this. All right, so then I'm going to come through here and put in another layer. And of course, by doing this, this actually gives it more durability because I'm putting on more paint. The more paint you use, the better your your design will not be as easy to scratch and I know some people will contact me and say about the paint falling off well the paint doesn't just fall off if you're rough with it or you uh, do something that will actually scratch it then you know yes it's a painted object and you should treat it as such. And that's with treating it with care. All right, now I'm gonna put another one over here. And you can overlap, that's just fine. When you want to fill that in a little bit, that's fine too. All right, so then I'm going to come down this way. I'm going to have just a little partially opened flower down here. 
Now I'm gonna do a few of these little buds. Maybe tip it down here. And just come over this, just very lightly. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is take my fine liner, sticking it into my lime green, my thicket, and into the moon yellow. And you can just go back and forth as you're creating these and do that. When I get to my little buds, once again, I kind of like just to do them like this where I go around them and I can just keep keep messing with them and creating around them. I want to say messing with them as far as um, you know breaking them or hurting them. It's more of a let's go up like this, up like that, and just keep painting around them. All right, and then I'm going to come like this, come down. And just keep creating, getting the look that you want. And I try to make this a little bit thicker here. Because again, the thin paint, it's going to, it's going to scratch if you don't have it on there nicely. And then just attaching this flower to the stem. And I can even add in some of the yellow and some of the lime green. I will come down here, come up this way, and come down this way. So you know, I like to do my curvy stems. And so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do my, I'm going to come like that because it's hanging down. And I can turn my bottle just to get a better, better look at it. Easier to, to paint when I turn it this direction. Again, just keep quickly painting it. It's not a big deal. Not difficult by any means. And I can just swirl these into that little stem. And I just like to add some more up into the flower here. Again, we're going to go into the stem here. Yellow just makes it pop a little bit. I just like to add more of these little little fun things. I don't even know, just little pieces of stem or I'm just gonna come in here and add a little bit more to these in between. Again, that makes them a little thicker. And you can make it wider. You can even actually use your flat brush to make the stems because that'll make it wider. But that's up to you. All right, next thing I'm going to do is take this brush. I'm going to put it in, it's a number 12, into the lime green and the thicket. A little bit of yellow. You can even add some white if you wanted. It's fine. So you can kind of rotate back and forth if you want. All right, this leaf is just going to be a quick little wiggle. And then I just wiggle and I come back and I turn it. This makes it very easy. I'm going to go this way, come back here, and then I'm going to come back, just wiggle it, and turn it. All right. And then come in here, I'm going to do the same thing over these flowers and come back in and attach. That is 
to make it smaller. And you can just keep adding, adding as you go. And then turn it. And since I'm coming down this way, I can, I've got it, you know, a little bit upside down here. But I can do this just to, oops, sorry, falling off the screen, I'm sorry. I'm getting really bad about that, I apologize. But I'm just coming down here at the bottom and adding, adding more leaves in. Oh, uh, okay. And maybe, trying to think if I want to do one up here, I could. I'm just kind of bringing it back. And I'm just going to leave it like that. The next thing I'm going to do is take my number eight round brush. And I'm going to come in here to the moon yellow. And I'm just going to come in here and tip it wherever I see fit. Come in here. I'm not adding any other color, just the yellow. And when you do this, to me it just kind of gives it, I pulled in some green, but it just makes it pop a little bit. If you, if you can see what I'm talking about. Just gives it a little bit more oomph. When you put a little bit of the yellow in there, it makes it show up. And it's just very simple, very simple. And just a special additive. And you can even come down this way because like I said, my design is going all different directions. So you can come it like that. You can even come out this way a little bit if you want. It's really up to you. And if you wanted to have it, I kind of tipped out here a little bit, but have it come into just the leaf a little bit too, that's fine. I'm not doing anything else with it. I'm leaving it just as it is. The next thing I'm going to do is take my deer foot stippler. I'm going to pounce it into this moon yellow and I'm going to very simply just come in here and go like that. And I could just tip it in here a little bit just to give these little buds some color. Makes it simple. Pretty simple floral design. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before leaving, if you would take a moment to uh, share this video on your social network with your family and friends, just hit that share button that you'll find underneath and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.